The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge. Kindness. Beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this is for your horse, actually. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. It's hurting, Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. i fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with whipping that snot nose right into okay? shape? Imagine saving people, Girl, taking them to your breast, please. and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people. And I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers. And they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little oh, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... Oh. No, Bertram! 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 Woof, woof! Bertram! Put the nice man! Do something, you only eat him! Um, uh, e e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Sherry! Bertram! Easy, big guy. 
Bartram got a whoop say. Enough! Cut that out! Mean! What are you waiting for? Bartram! Bartram ain't little man! No one likes your tantrum, mister. What he needs is a good sleep. Knock him out! <laughs> Your so way! So stupid! <gasps> Ouchie! <laughs> no fair! Mean man! <laughs> well, uh, let's be friends, okay? Bad, <laughs> <Dad>, Bertram! <laughs> Not me! Come here, Bertram. <laughs> Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off. To, hmm? But Bertram promised. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket, and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. It's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, Marjorie. She cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay away from me. <sighs> hey, Arnold, come back here. Obscura. Look, you got the wrong end of this. Too strong. Running ain't solving anything. Hey, will you talk? I'm going it alone! He, he just wants to speak to you. Damn. You're starting to irritate. Punish! What the hell are you pulling here? You're here, I'm gonna find you. Oh, <coughs> that's a neat trick. <coughs> oh, yeah, very clever. It's steak dinners and dancing this up here. I'm gonna get you now. Come here. We're gone. You led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Ah, so damn it. long, dummy.
Where are you? You said it. Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pops. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you uh, are going to be pulling uh, rabbits out of your uh, ass until you are as uh, old as you are tiny. Uh, Put them up there. Uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I know. Come to Mama. Oh, I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you! Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? saying you're a black widow. Why, well, nothing of the kind. That means you killed your sweetheart. Where do they get such nonsense? You're my sweetheart. Now come over here. Come here. Really weren't my sweetheart. He was a bully, okay? And he got what was coming. Now, you gonna come over here and romance me? It says there's... Other fellers, it says right there in black and white. <laughs> Y'all talking about Frank and Henry and Howie. I just got back that there's a bounty hunter. Get him, Ellen. I, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the feller. What Ow. kind of man aren't you? Puny. That Stabbing little. All you men are you. Now stay there. You're gonna behave now. You are a piece of work. Now, come here. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them.
on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feather out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Well, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So, it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Going to take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. Ah, come on, boy. Yeah, good boy. There, boy. Just want to speak to Hernandez. We don't like visitors up here. Kill this fool. Are you kidding me? You when I get out of this. Maldito hijo de perra! Gonzalo! What happened out there? Who's that? Flacco Hernandez? You in there? I didn't want trouble, but... I'm just here to speak with you. About Boy Calloway? Put your weapons away, and I'll come out. Huh. You ain't getting in here. <coughs> Put them away. I'm unarmed. <coughs> I just want to talk about Boy Calloway. 
Uh, here's your message. Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes! Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business. Thought the help talking about that boy you got killed in the road. Seems to have them all shook up. That comes with no surprise. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oz are still unkind. I've been waiting on that winning streak for some time. That's just the way of things, I guess. Hello, Alden. <gasps> Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? 
terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say... Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. Please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. country. <laughs> Did you say a show? <laughs> it's a small benefit. Blackwater. <laughs> Just say. Mrs. Chester Damson. a small show, but would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. No. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth.
I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough. Uh, Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. It's all right, boy. All right, boy. Yeah. Nicely done, Arthur. A little finesse for once. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Let's go, boy. Come on. Exactly. Sort of how I see. You're fine. But it still hurts. It does. People calling you dumb. <laughs> it's like people call me lazy. I'm not lazy. Just don't like working. There's a, there's a difference. It's like you and thinking. You, you're not dumb. You just don't like thinking. <laughs> that sort of it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's sort of it. Yeah, makes sense now. 